Hi, welcome to another video. This is Loretta coming at you. And this video is um, and some altered items that I made for my secret sister um, with the Free Spirit Cigar Box Swapper Group. That is an offshoot of the SSSS, the Secret Squirrel Sisterhood Society. One of the ladies out of that group made another group for those of us who really enjoy swapping the cigar boxes and this month the theme was secret garden and I used the Prima Fairy Bell line for my cigar box and the theme was secret garden I might have said that already anyway my idea was to kind of go with monochromatic colors the challenge was also to use complementary colors so, on the front, the complementary colors that I used were the blue gems on the gate, uh, along with the orange gem at the very top of the gate. And my idea was, or the concept for this box was, to use a monochromatic scheme on the top of the box that would open up to the secret garden under the lid of the box which would be in in color so that was kind of the thought behind this and I've used as I said the fairy bell papers and I used some Webster's Pages ribbon and some um, Kaiser Craft and Recollection Spleen and a charm that I got from um, DK Crafts and a Michael's bird and some metal flowers and a Prima flower and I did um, I'm going to turn the box so that you can see I did pop these up onto some chipboard to kind of give it some dimension and I've kind of been playing around with whether I would like to tack this key down or not but I haven't so far anyway that's the outside of the box and then I've just trimmed the front and sides of the box with paper that I've again uh, I've distressed that with some vintage photo distress ink and then this is a doily back behind here that I distressed with some antique linen and then when you open the box is when it blooms into the secret garden and this is how I decorated the lid of the box I'm really happy about how it turned out I used a Fab Scraps um, chipboard embellishment with the table and chairs for the inside of the secret garden and I've got some of the fairy bell flowers and uh, flutter bits and a recollections butterfly and a fairy bell chipboard piece that says dream and then these are a combination of wild orchid craft flowers and prima flowers and then this is uh, Melissa Francis flower and then I'm sorry and then our recollections face and then here I've just left the the fairy bell paper as it is because I think it's really pretty and I wanted to leave uh, room in the box so that I could put her some little flowers or little goodies inside of the box so that's that's my box uh, the other project that we were to make was a dress form and I've done a Kaiser Craft Beyond the Page dress form and which I'll pick it up so that you can have a look at that in just a minute. Um, on the base I, I did some roses and the challenge again was complementary colors on the color wheel so I used pink and green and pink and green and I've, it's kind of a shabby chic look. I've used some flat back pearls and some lace and the fairy bell paper with a pearl necklace. And so that's what she looks like. And then if you turn her around to the other side, I've just kind of done the same thing on the other side except it's, you know, just the paper with the be on the uh, be on the page dress form so that's the dress form and then also we were to do 
a six by six page and I continued to use the fairy bell paper on the six by six page. I did make this a pocket page so this is open so that she can slide whatever she'd like to in there. I left a half an inch margin on the left side for binding. I used uh, a do paper doily and some trim and some flat back pearls and I used a recollections flower along with a title that says believe and then on the back side I used the fairy bell paper again with um, one of the note cards and again a recollections flower along with the locket on the back that the key goes to. So those are my projects for my secret sister and I hope that she enjoys them as much as I enjoyed making them for her and I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions at all please leave me a comment and I'll be glad to get in touch with you and as always thank you so much for watching I sure do appreciate all of you have a good evening until next time bye now